Nicolas Cage races to find the legendary Templar treasure before a team of mercenaries gets to it first. Welcome to the Walt Vault with Michelle, Andre, Luis, and me, Emily. We're a family-friendly podcast where we pick a new Disney movie each week. We watch it, share our thoughts, and then relate it to pop culture, fandoms, and anything else that pops into our heads. Enjoy! Hello and welcome to the Walt Vault, episode 64. So fancy. <laughs> 64. 64. Oh. When, um, 64. I get it. Was Are that, you confused? Was that that yeah. Beatles song? I'm not confused no more. Is that what it was called? 64. When, um, 64. No, no. Yes. Anyway, I don't know. I should probably know more history because this week we are talking about 2004's Live action movie, National Treasure. I don't know why I stumbled on movie. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever this thing is called, this thing that we do, that we talk about. National Treasure. It's called a movie. National Treasure, directed by John Turtletaub and starring Nicholas Cage. Oh, God. Nicholas. Why'd you say it like that? You've just entered the cage. I didn't know that oh, was You wonders. can't handle the cage. The cool thing Where's about this is that y'all... I don't know. I'm just making this stuff up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like a Saturday Night Skit or something. <laughs> y'all voted for this movie, so thank you for yes. engaging yes, and letting us know. Yes, thanks for voting. We know it's been a while since we had some votey time. <laughs> votey time. Votey <laughs> time. <laughs> I appreciate it. And we, we figured... You should have voted for Tron Legacy. Um, just saying. I'm actually really happy you voted for National Treasure. This is one I wanted to watch. Andre definitely wanted to watch Holes. I really wanted to watch Holes. I wanted to watch Holes. <laughs> <laughs> so we were all oh boy, very... Shia. We all had, you know, our... Holes is dope. It's fine. But we'll you know what? You guys, <laughs> you guys voted for freedom and justice and liberty. You voted for America. You guys <laughs> voted for national <laughs> treasure. <laughs> I wish they could see my face right now. The power of the vote. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they just voted for... The Nicholas people's Kate. vote, you guys, You guys rocked the vote, and uh, we appreciate it. Thank you so much. Last night, Luis taught me what... Or schooled me more like it on what the people's elbow is the people's elbow i don't know what this is oh 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 the okay people's elbow? yes okay yes you guys i i wasn't a wrestling kid <laughs> louise said didn't you watch wrestling and i said excuse me <laughs> i said excuse me because we we're laying in bed and i had my out my hand no. propped under my head and he was like oh the people's elbow and i was like what i are just you i just about? watched furious seven fast and furious seven and the rock is in that movie and he does the people's elbow in like the first five minutes of the movie Wait, it's fantastic the people's elbow? it's a it's a wrestling move where so he would like jump apparently and like Ooh, people um, with the elbow. Bow. So I was doing the people's elbow, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it. That's very funny. But well, there you go. But Nicolas Cage doesn't do the people's elbow. He does the people's he does discovery. I don't know. Yeah. People, people. <laughs> he does a lot of running and uh, a solving, lot of, um, solving clues that only he could solve. Only he yeah. could. <laughs> The second Benjamin Franklin. Or does he like, oh, it seems like he lets out a sigh every single time he talks. For real. <sighs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> Batman without the mask. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, Where is the Constitution? <laughs> Where is it? Declaration <laughs> of Independence, but yes. <laughs> oh, no. Take out the map. Not the Constitution. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's for the next na uh, National Treasure coming out next year. Oh, okay. Oh. National Treasure 2. Three. National Treasure Three. <laughs> they're making a third one. I don't know. They've but there's been, two. They've been saying that they're going to make a third one since 2007, basically. What? Not what? How many documents are there? <laughs> 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 You're right, Michelle. There's only three, two important documents in yeah. the whole world. That's, that's pretty true. You know, if this were right France, they'd find. have an endless list of movies to make because mm. they have actually, if I am correct. I believe they probably have rewritten their constitution several times. No. Well, Maybe not the we Declaration got of Independence. We got the Declaration of Independence mm -hmm. and the Constitution. <laughs> we don't have anything else. On? The Constitution? The Articles of Confederation Articles that started Confederation, all of that? The Bill of Rights. Uh, and, 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 I'm and, just and, a and bill. Maybe, <laughs> yes, maybe I'm should, only a bill. <laughs> maybe we should also include... Um, Capitol Hill. <laughs> Y'all don't know. What, Luis? What do you want to add? <laughs> History. Y'all don't know Schoolhouse Rock. 
Look at oh, you. I made him mad. Oh, Sorry. Louis, what? <laughs> Thought loss. What? What? Bill on Capitol <laughs> he didn't Hill. Like Schoolhouse Rock. <laughs> 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 Don't make me sing conjunction junction, Luis. What other important documents are there? Luis, you were excited. You 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 uh you held up the You, you de- said it right on point. I was excited. <laughs> oh <laughs> Dang. Luis is back, guys. Well, so. <laughs> what what were your first impressions of National Treasure, Luis? I like the historical aspect of it. Mm-hmm. If uh Nicolas Cage didn't spend one fourth of the movie sighing, it'd probably be a whole lot better. <laughs> okay. All right. My my Valid. first impression is exactly the same. I actually really enjoyed this movie. I was I remember liking it as a kid and I liked it now. I mean, yeah, of course there's plot issues yeah. because I mean for you to come up with this big of a scheme, yeah. like there has to be some issues. Like there's no way they're going to make everything seamless. Uh, yeah. But if they had recast him with literally anybody else, it would have been like I could have given it a nine. Like I really <laughs> enjoyed it, okay? <laughs> I hey, very so much what, enjoyed it. What do we it. hate about Nicolas Cage so much? Because I didn't think he was that bad. Wow. I mean, <laughs> silence. <laughs> you can't see my face, listeners. But what is so Paul. bad about Nicolas Cage? I think this is maybe the only movie I've ever seen him in, though. He oh. overacts. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. when, if think about like if you were an actor. No, if Emily was an actor. Okay, if I was okay. an actor, mm-hmm. I would be like. And then we were going out to settle the world. That's Nicolas Cage. I feel like he's right. constantly overplaying his he's characters. Just, he's just doing the most. I don't know. Like there's too much going okay. on there. I mean, I just didn't really like his face. Well, no, I don't like his face either, but that's a whole nother. I was just trying to stick to the the, the major problems. Yeah, his I face mean, is on. But like I said, I, I think s- that's a tertiary problem. I don't really yeah. think I've seen him in a lot of things, and maybe it was only this movie. So maybe that's why I don't have an opinion on what's, Nicolas Cage that much. What's Which your is first sad because I, I, I didn't have this opinion of him until Ems. <laughs> Kind of I really ruined it. Because see, that's when someone eyes, yeah. points something out and then you're like, crap. But I like them a lot in Gone in 60 Seconds and in The Rock. I There's some stuff I like well. him in. Okay, Andre, first impression not the rock, of not just Nicolas Cage, but National Treasure. National Treasure is a fun movie. Uh, I thought you were going to say National Treasure is a national treasure. <laughs> national treasure <laughs> is a national treasure. No, I wouldn't. Call it's it. not quite a national, it a national treasure. It sounded like he was gearing up for it. I was like, is he going to say it? But it's, he didn't. it's like a maybe a local treasure. Um, <laughs> no, it's it's a fun movie, but you you have to as an adult, you have to suspend a yeah. fair amount of disbelief to get to get through the plot of this movie. And I didn't have a lot of trouble suspending my disbelief, but. Almost after every scene, I'd be like, mm, "Wait, <laughs> hang on, wait a minute, wait a second. Mm, but I just, I just kept it moving. You just gotta let it go. Yeah, I yes. just, you just let it go. But other than that, the the movie is fun. Nicolas Cage is. We can talk about him later. Sure, we can we can talk about him later. But we'll it was, there. but I know how you feel. <laughs> yes. Okay. So my first impression when I originally watched this movie is that I really, really liked it. You like, mean like before? Like the th- first time, before the viewing. Okay. I really, really liked it because, first of all, treasure hunting is fun. Second of all, I like a good map and I like a good puzzle. So, like, that part is all fun. And Andre made the comment, like, we didn't have to think about it much because then they told us the answer, like, a minute later. Mm-hmm. Like, to the puzzle. And I was like, sweet, cool. I like, <laughs> I like that kind of stuff. I like this movie even upon this viewing. However, Andre recently had me watch... The mummy. The mummy. The mummy. Mm-hmm. All. We watched three, two, two. We didn't watch the third one yet. We didn't. We gotta watch the third one. Hey, mm-hmm. did you see the newest one? No. She has not seen. No, it. I, I saw I the original it. one and the second one, and because that movie was like also historical, also a puzzle, also super action packed, and was like better than this one <laughs> so, I, so i was like oh i'm gonna love this because we just watched the mummy and i really like that and that was historical and puzzled and treasure hunting um and i did like this one but it wasn't no mummy and it wasn't no george of the jungle looking dude it was nicholas cage that's true <laughs> so like give me some brand new phrases in the way the of nicholas cage where i was like oh like the girl was i've cool. never seen the mummy you gotta watch it it was good I've seen no mummies i've seen no mummies it was very no, good we've seen the one sweetheart uh, I've never seen. We've seen the well, not the Mummy series, but we've seen one. Are you talking about the new one with the gentleman that I don't even have? Tommy Cruise. He doesn't have a name. That's a remake. How dare you? (laughs) Well, that's a remake of the classic one. 
Of the first one? No, the, the no, like the classic, classic, classic. like monster movie. Oh, yeah. the oh monster yes, movie. yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, that doesn't count though. What they're talking about. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> but do I like <laughs> this movie for like the the history and the puzzles and the treasure hunting? Yes, that's always fun to me. I right. love a good puzzle like that's what makes this movie so intriguing and cool because then you want to think about it in real life like oh that could be real of course yeah. not but it just makes it cool for you know? sure well and i and i definitely watched it through kid eyes i think because i remember watching it originally and being like oh that's so right. cool yeah so i think that i was still like i i was still in the so far like disbelief of like what you're talking about how mm-hmm. that, that that didn't really happen kind of a thing it, it's cool because like this this movie if, if, especially if you're a kid, it makes history like really fun. Oh, like, for sure. Oh man, there's all this secret stuff going on that they don't, you don't know about, and it's just out there. And George Washington, he was a mason, and he had a ring, and it was all kinds of crazy stuff. Signature. It, it's just that none of that stuff is real in this. You know, the stuff that they make up for this movie is it was a little bit more out there than the actual secret stuff. Which, which is the exciting. lizard people are running the government. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> In Doctor Who, you never know it could happen. <laughs> I like it. Exactly. Um, so I guess let's let's begin the film. Uh, we start off with little baby Nicolas Cage. <laughs> well, no, no. no. He's discovering. Wait, are we talking about a uh, baby, baby, or a teenager? I mean, he's like ten or twelve or something like that. Well, baby know. in comparison to. To old man, big one, eyebrows cage. Child <laughs> you want to keep that on? Child Nicholas Cage <laughs> is in his grandfather's attic, and he's looking for his some historical stuff because apparently there's a Gates treasure hunt thing going <laughs> on in the family. So and their family is name is the Gates. Yes. yes. This is where I needed more backstory. Although I liked the backstory, it went kind of quick talking about the Freemasons and the blah 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 and whatever it was that I got I got lost. Like I needed I needed more of the backstory. I can't even explain it to you cuz I don't remember. So it that like well. the Freemasons were a secret society that came about when America was first being yeah, well, where this treasure being come built. from? Uh, treasure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the treasure came from Egypt. Mm. Exactly. See, Pretty we much needed what more. It was. Well, hey, uh, what no, I they explained it very well. They I don't did. know where the treasure originated because I wasn't paying attention at that time. But pretty much over, like somebody started to collect treasure. Then whenever that person got overrun in history, they took that treasure and whatever other you know, spoils of war they got. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so and the like Knights Templar time, found yes, it. Yeah, the and the Templars found it. The, uh, was it? Was, was it the Templars or was it? It was the Knights Templar. It was four knights. Mm-hmm. They made the knights. It's a fabled treasure taken from ancient empires throughout history. Yes. Okay. And okay. then over the next century, it was smuggled out of Europe, and they became the free. Those in- individuals became the Freemasons. Mm-hmm. And then the only clue Which left. Which the Freemasons are a group of people who. They're they're much a they secret just, society. They were just created to keep the treasure. Yes. Mm-hmm. They're an offshoot of the Knights of Templar. Yes. They're like a secret society. Yes. Right. Okay. And so we, I mean, they're the Masons are real. Like that's a real thing. Yeah. Right. Um, and it is known that some of the presidents and the signers of the declaration yeah. were George, ma- Freemasons. George Washington was rumored to be one, I believe. Yeah. And That's so real. the only clue left at the hen- end of that whole kind of episodic thing was that this Carroll dude, Charles Carroll, the last survivor of the signer of the Declaration of Independence, had this whole the secret yeah, lies with Charlotte. Right. And he just handed that over to some stranger. So it's it's <laughs> in cuz Andrew Jackson really, wasn't at home. Really not being a good Freemason. He's not I, a very good steward of the taxpayers. <laughs> where I dollars. Get, I get lost is if the Freemasons brought the treasure over and hid it, wouldn't the Freemasons tell the other Freemasons where the treasure is and why they ever lose it? I don't know. This is a stretch. No, they didn't lose it. I think that it was supposed to... I think that because the British were coming, right. I think they mm-hmm. thought the British... They were just trying to keep it away from that. They are trying to keep it oh. protected. Yeah, okay. they didn't want the British to know, so he... Because apparently Andrew Jackson, the president at the time, was not a Freemason. So he was going to go tell the president, like, yo, this is where this crazy treasure cool is. Treasure. Don't let them get it. Right. That's why he went to go see the so president. So instead, he confided in a, a, stable a boy. Gates family yes. member. A Gates yeah. ancestor. A Gates ancestor. And yes. So the Gates 
have just they just ran with it. They're like, oh, we finding this treasure. <laughs> and that's kind of the funniest part of this whole movie is that you can literally sum it up as of that. That whole story mm -hmm. that you hear in the first five minutes of the movie, mm -hmm. then grandfather's 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 grandfather or mm -hmm. I guess grandchild, grandchild, whatever. Right, yeah. Is now still on the search for this treasure. And the only good thing is that they they're they're treasure hunters of the purest heart, I guess. Like yeah. they just want to find they it for historical find it value. It's cool history stuff. Yeah. But then the rest of the movie is literally us finding, finding the treasure. The treasure, which I like. But you know what my favorite part of this whole thing is? Is that the bad guy is yeah. Baromir. <laughs> I know. Yes. Baromir well, from the Lord for, of the Rings. For, it's so fantastic. For me, He's... I didn't realize it was him at first because his hair looked like Owen Wilson, so it was throwing me off. Oh, so... wow. The treasure. It's in the ship. But isn't he in Game of Thrones? You guys yes. watch Game of Thrones. So Lord then Stark. when Andre said, that's Ned Stark, and I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> and then I saw him again. I was like, oh, it's Ned Stark, but he looks so weird because he has blonde, long hair. The blonde hair was throwing me off, like, majorly. Oh, he was blonde, long hair in Lord of the Rings, too, so yes, it didn't take me very but long. but I was sure. thinking Ned Stark because he's older now. Mm. You know, it's many years later. This is, what, 2005 movie? 2004. 2004. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, he looks a lot older now, so it was just, like, throwing me off. That's hilarious. But <laughs> it is also very funny that he's the villain. Yes. Yeah. I thought he played a pretty good villain. Yeah, he was, yeah, he was, really he was good. good. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I liked I all like the characters him. besides... I love me a bean. <laughs> I love me a bean. Stop. What? <laughs> His, His name, last Sean name Bean. is Bean. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what kind of bean? Like, what a are you Sean Bean. About? A Sean Bean, uh, obviously. A pinto a bean, a black bean. <laughs> a, a scene bean. Kidney <laughs> bean. I don't know. You what will. kind of bean? Stop. <laughs> um, oh, my God. So, yeah. So, Grandpa tells uh, little baby Nick Cage this whole story. And Back then, up. What's his name? Ben Jamin. Gates. Yes. Named Benjamin after. Franklin Gates. Oh, I was Franklin's His middle, middle name, name is Franklin. They're really hitting it on the nose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. They need to calm down. Okay. First of all, I will just throw Not this. Not that we have to call him that, but I just wanted to throw it out there that that's his full and I name. Need, I need to throw this out there. History is my least favorite subject ever. Do I remember history? No. It goes straight over my head. I can barely remember that. I was about to say Ben Franklin invented the light bulb, and that's not nope, true. Not even like I just, <laughs> it was done. Einstein. I remember who it was, guys. What? No. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> I wish you could see Luis's face. Keep, right keep now. naming His, people until you get to the my thing, light bulb so person. So if I start Nate, I'm just going to let Luis do the name things, and I'll be quiet. Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. I knew that. What did Einstein invent? Albert Einstein the, the nuclear the, bomb. No, well, yes. The theory of relativity <laughs> is Einstein's I'm big done. baby. Dude. But he also helped on the Manhattan Project, which helped create the atomic bomb. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Luis is shaking his head so hard I think he got a headache. <laughs> You're thinking Benjamin Franklin created a light bulb because he experimented with electricity with the kite and the key. Yes. All right. <laughs> Give her that. <laughs> Give her that. Yeah, that's exactly why she thought that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, Ben Benny Frankie Jr. He uh, he grows up. Junior. <laughs> and he uh, <laughs> and he's still uh, majorly obsessed with uh, finding this treasure, and he is on a mission with Scene Bean to <laughs> go to the Arctic and find Charlotte. Which they do they they don't know what Charlotte is when they're I think when they're it, first looking for well, it. Well, right? they don't say it. But he probably. But assumes. I'm pretty sure he knows that they're he looking knows for a, a boat. Ship. Okay, yeah. Because pretty much one of them, one of the huh, best henchmen ever, the henchmen in these <laughs> <laughs> this movie's what like was that one. Dude's name? I got uh, uh, Was it like? Well, there is one that's like Victor or something. Victor's the Russian. There's like guy. a Russian dude of some sort. Yeah. But the one that he that Shaw. Shaw. I was gonna Shaw. call him Shaft. <laughs> <laughs> Shaft. <laughs> <laughs> Shaw. Um, is like. How do you know there's a there's gonna be a you know boats out here <laughs> and then Riley which is um, oh yeah he's he's the nerd friend yeah he's he's Ben Franklin Jr.'s um <laughs> <laughs> he's his henchman not yes. really he's his techie he's kid. a sidekick he um he's like you know well the Arctic can you know freeze and refreeze mm -hmm. and 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 keep moving over time and you know I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a expert or anything. And you're like, oh, okay, okay. you're going to be sassy. Yeah. I can see this already. <laughs> he just walked away after he finished <laughs> saying all that, too, <laughs> which is very funny. So pretty much he was spot on, and they found a ship called the Charlotte. But I don't know. Did that Was there a reason that we needed the Charlotte? Like, did we, like, what was? So, yeah. No, but what was the? No, was the, the, 
the next clue. No, no, but what was the significance of the boat, the Charlotte? Was there significance to that boat oh. itself? Historical? Yeah, like what was the Charlotte? Do I know? would assume, I don't think we know, but I would assume that oh, yeah, I don't know the, point. the Charlotte, well, okay, hang on. Now I can't even. Could have just been anything. like a mercantile ship. Yeah. Well, they were. It, well, they were, it was. It was like a. They were trading gunpowder. Mm. Uh, at, least, <laughs> at least. Well, I wonder gunpowder. if that was supposed to be one of the ships that some of the treasure came over on, or something yeah, to got, that effect. It got lost on the tea party. The Boston Tea Party. That's when it happened. <laughs> what was the Boston Tea Party, Michelle? When they had a tea tax and they didn't want to pay it, so they put it overboard. But where were they docked? Pennsylvania. Boston, but uh, well actually, that's no. That's why the Boston Tea Party, girl. Oh, with the Boston Tea Party, Boston Harbor, right? Oh. Boston Harbor. So well you're the saying best that part this is one of those ships that just didn't make it over with the tea. Okay, well that's really nice, but I don't think it's the same time period. Probably not. Not even close. <laughs> 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 I'm really, really appreciative of all these stories, though, Michelle. I would but love you to teach is, me history. No, they don't really give us any backstory about what the Charlotte ship is. Okay. Just right. that it's there. And that and the secret important. lies with this Charlotte. Yes. I don't even know how he really found this boat. Like, how did he find right. out they didn't that a boat called that the Charlotte was under the tundra? Like, that's a stretch, you know? I, you know what? I just well, I mean, you could figure it out because at some point, like, you based know, on its route. somebody would know Charlotte's supposed to leave here, mm -hmm. supposed to go there. and If it sunk here, then it could have drifted yeah. off to here and whatnot. Well, the best part of all of it is that Disney knows how to cut right to the chase, just like in the movie we'll be doing next week, Dumbo, where we just go from scene to scene to scene, yes. mm -hmm. and there's no transition. Just so, move it along. So good for Disney to just start us out like, we know things, we're <laughs> omniscient. Let it be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Basically, yeah. So they get in the ship and then they find no treasure. I, they, it's so funny because every clue they're like, I'm going to find some treasure, right? But it, it doesn't work <laughs> that oh, way. And they all the get treasure. angry every time. Yeah. What do you mean there's no treasure? Is it a, it's like, like, is it a billion down. dollar pipe? <laughs> <laughs> is it I a love million that dude, dollar pipe? I like him I too. Hate him. Louise oh, hated I him, obviously. Him so Riley's great. Yeah, so they find a pipe that's in the shape of the Charlotte ship mm -hmm. with a the pipe. The pipe. It's and removable. It, mm -hmm. The the so sucky and part. this is where Nicholas. <laughs> yeah, I don't that know part. what you call that. The puff part. This is where Nicholas Cage <laughs> freaks me out a little bit. Like he just knows to take off that thing off the pipe and then draw his own blood and put it on it and put it on a piece of paper. Like Nicholas Cage, what do you think of this? I don't well, know. here's the deal. I think that he's. I think we're supposed to assume that he is so well versed yeah. in all things American history then and British they history. Should have made his character played by Benedict Cumberbatch. Well, I would have believed <laughs> that's a British dude. Uh, <laughs> <Dang it>. <laughs> <laughs> but because, like, when you look at the side of it, you can see that it's like engraved, yeah. and so he was thinking if it had been Carmen San Diego, she would have pulled out her lipstick and right. she would have drawn on it mm -hmm. she wouldn't have like drawn her own blood i, I was you know thinking what I mean? that he could have just like broken a pen over it rather yeah. than like stabbing himself in the thumb but yeah, you he know he didn't have to like he's a weirdo drama but but i do wish his character <laughs> have to have like energy loss right in the first <laughs> yeah. i can agree with he has to be weakened that i wish his character was more convincing like oh, that's, i don't know how, know how to word it in a way but i don't get the impression that he's that historically intelligent yeah. Like, I know he is, they but he also... Can we pause? Because I will tell you, I <clears> understand <throat> your feeling because when I, I... It's a different movie. I get it. Mm -hmm. But when I watched Ant-Man and th the original Ant-Man mm -hmm. movie, I had such a hard time with Paul Rudd oh. as yeah. Yeah. this, like, super techie, smart guy who went to prison and He's is also now out and yes. yeah like that hard. whole and learns how to fight in one montage yeah that whole like thing did not make any sense to me sure. because he was not that character yeah and so i understand, I what, understand you're what you're saying what you're saying also <laughs> paul rudd only seemed like ant-man to me and we just watched the 40 year old virgin and he's in that as like a really funny like lazy dude and yeah. i was like this weird me out like i thought oh. he was a superhero i guess not <laughs> no, no. He's no. An anchorman right mm. oh my goodness i haven't seen that or in role models oh, <laughs> i haven't yeah. seen that Moving along. <laughs> so, <laughs> um they, yeah. they explain at one point that nicholas cage's character he like he got a degree in history and a degree in something else and he was also like a navy seal or whatever so yeah. he has all these skills that yeah, uh, but are explained by backstory he's not like if he was better in a fist fight or something then i would have believed he had more special skills but 
does fist fights equal I history? Know. I don't know. His, history his special. Fights. Well, if he was in the navy, like he's gonna have some kind of. I don't know. He doesn't have. A, I think he was a naval diver. I think that's what they said. He doesn't have that many special skills. He can dive. He stole the Declaration he of Independence. He did dive at the end Spoiler. of the movie, and he did he a very He did good steal job. the Declaration of Independence. You're correct, which <laughs> I don't think is realistic at all, but, we'll you know. We'll get to that. Um, Suspend it, How girl. many guards were down here? Well, one. <laughs> so <laughs> they, Suspend it, girl. They, they find the pipe, blood on the pipe, rolls the pipe over a piece of paper. New clue. To reveal a new clue. New clue. New clue. Which he immediately figures out in, like, two minutes. Uh, what it like, means. Uh, 55 iron pen. Uh, uh, iron pen. Uh, 55. Uh, uh, Declaration of Independence. Uh, the signing. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is exactly uh, what it sounded like. Because uh, everyone else is sitting around like, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> I know Ian's like, it's a prison. It's, it's a, a prison! prison. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't Ian. No, it was Shaw. It was, it was Shaw. Shaw. <laughs> it was. And he's like. A prison? <laughs> or Phil. <laughs> or Victor. All these dudes. Anyway, so they figure out what the next <laughs> clue <prison>. is. <laughs> they figure out that the map is going to be on the back of the Declaration of Independence, which I don't know how they got that from that riddle, but they did. You know, so that happened. Um, <clears throat> then they immediately go to, we're going to make a meeting with it. Well, that's not going to happen. And then immediately they decide to steal it. Like there was no second guessing in his partner, Ian, right? That's yeah. Bad. He was like, well, I'm just going to go steal it. Okay. Well, well okay. the problem is that Gaines's family had lost reputation right. and that the whole historical community and like pretty much it sounds like the government too is like y'all a bunch of idiots. Yeah. yeah. So I bet he probably couldn't ever find funding for any of the stuff that he actually wants to do, mm. even though it has legitimate in this story, legitimate <laughs> historical value. Well, and, and that's stuff why like that. Ian yes, was the only person that would like take him up on his offer. Because right, he had money. Because he, he has money yeah. and he's interested. Yes. Yeah. But if I think about it, too, like, honestly, if I was working in, I don't know, the government or whatever, and somebody told me that, I'd be like, OK. Like, it, it, it is a stretch. You know what I mean? Oh, he's, so. he's a. In the real world, this dude is a conspiracy theorist. Yeah. Like, he is, he's just a, a wacko. <laughs> Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. A wacko with conspiracy theory. With a name like Benjamin Franklin Gates. Benjamin Franklin so Gates. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> they, the groups get separated, right? Ian and his posse go one way because they, well, they to try kill to kill each other. Yes. <laughs> blow each other up on this ship, but it's fine. They passively they allow each yeah. other to, to move. They it's go fine. this way. They, away. <laughs> they go this way. And so. A boat they explodes. want to go warn the FBI and people that they're going to steal the Declaration of Independence, which, of course, nobody believes, right? So, therefore, he decides, since nobody believes him, that he's going to steal <coughs> it to keep it safe from Ian, because that makes the most logical sense. Yeah, he, he tells the FBI, the NSA, Homeland Security. And that historical girl. And the historian. What's her name? Dr. Chase? Yeah. That uh, the Declaration of Independence is about to be stolen. And they all, all... They all don't believe him. The FBI doesn't even file a report. And uh, and so then he, <laughs> he gets it in his head that he has to steal it to protect... He reads a passage from the Declaration of Independence and justifies stealing the Declaration of Independence. I know. He's like, I have to take him down, so I'm going to steal it. It's like if you I have, have the knowledge and the responsibility to, to do take care right. of the... Pirate, <laughs> the, the bigger picture you got to do it and he's like it. all right do it great power comes great responsibility and i have great power and also, responsibility he, he totally and responsibility wants to see if it's a map so you know yeah he's he's obsessed right. so long story short in a very short amount of time they decide to steal it yeah and they steal it man they do a yeah it's it's they a do real a pretty quick bang up job quick turnaround they do a good job at stealing it but but it's a quick turnaround for, for both no. teams like yes Gates and Riley, they're out and they're doing uh, mischievous stuff. They get a van. They get a tech van and uh, <laughs> they set that up with wires and stuff like that. If that <sighs> van is parked out the place where the freaking Declaration of Independence is and the security's not all over right? it, yeah, that that's is their a, own problem. That is a hot van. I want to tell you something. <laughs> if you look at that van with any kind of thermal imaging device, <laughs> uh, that dude's getting arrested for sure. Uh, Especially but, the fact that he like tunneled into like the governmental like what do you call that? The power supply? Yeah. And, like, well, and no I, one's noticing that. I hacked no into the feed and uh, they, 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 got, they got the feed. I don't understand. But meanwhile, 
Ian and his whole gang, they're climbing through the vents of this place and also not setting off any alarms. So, you know. Literally absolutely insane and so unrealistic. Like, and they, and they just I did so appreciate, though, that they both were infiltrating at the exact same time. Yes. Yeah, and that, like, they Didn't were taking each other. Yeah, completely opposite approaches. It actually made it funny. Yeah, like, it was no, cool. it, it, it was It's a, a cool scene. It was funny. The way it was shot is good. It's entertaining. But will it ever happen? No. No. So... Well, also, let's I'm, just say I hope not because that would I be rough. I literally cracking up when the FBI gets there and is like, st- basically they put the place on lockdown, right? Like, lock it down. The FBI gets there and the main guy is like <laughs> talking about how they don't know the declaration's stolen. There's like a fake one on display. And the, the freaking guy behind him is like, oh, sir, sir. Yeah, yeah, we had a tip that someone was going to steal the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> no, we didn't do anything we didn't about, about it. it. <laughs> and then, and then the other guy, the other guy's like, "We didn't file a report." And he goes, "Well, do you think you should have filed one now?" <laughs> so literally, so <laughs> hilarious. I'm dying. And then I was dying even more because Nicolas Cage and his dumb, dumb, dumbness <laughs> used a Visa card in the gift <laughs> shop. I literally told Andre, I was like, no, he's going to take out his Visa card. They're going to trace him. They're going to trace him. And then he took out his Visa card. Well, there w- he didn't have enough money. Yeah. The fu- yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is This is funny. So <laughs> he's so trying funny. to stay away from Dr. Chase because she's the only person that knows that he thinks that it's going to be stolen. Yeah, and he so also highly hinted to her while he was staring her dead in the eyes, <laughs> downing champagne. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to steal it. I'm like, First, you're such an idiot. He, yeah. He's he, like, you got to do what you got to do. And he's like, I hope she's, I she's, I hope like, she's okay. attracted to this right now. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So he's trying to stay away from her. So he like dodges himself into like a doorway and happens to be in the gift shop. Mm -hmm. And then the lady in the gift shop sees that he has something in his pocket. So he has to buy pretty much two versions, like a fake declaration of independence and, and the real, real one mm-hmm. so that she'll let him leave without being like someone's trying to Goodness steal gracious. this which actually was really funny which also now <laughs> that i'm thinking about it doesn't make any sense like i understand that he had to buy a fake one mm-hmm. but he he says later that he had to pay for two yeah but she would have had to scan the fake one and the real one real one ain't got no tag on there how's she gonna scan it? oh maybe she just scanned maybe the, she just scanned it twice. twice all right all right let's go Plot hole fixed. <laughs> <laughs> okay well you know sometimes you buy the same thing twice yeah you just and go, they just ching, boop, ching. boop. <clears throat> Yeah, they do that. Yeah, okay. Also, That's the plot hole you need to be have fixed. Hey. <laughs> they should have caught him right that there. Andre's like, well, I feel better already. No, she should have shut the whole place down. Oh, FBI, God. get in here. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Case though does like see him running away. She runs after him. She's feisty. She's I weird. like her. She's like, awesome. She obviously has an intuition that he's not dangerous because I'm thinking if it was anybody else, like, why are you going to run after the dude that you know literally has the declaration stolen? It's because he schmoozed her earlier. He's like, hey, I see you're missing a button. Check it out. I got that button. Yeah, he he did give her the historical Mm -hmm. George Washington button, button, which is pretty cool. But he isn't. It's so funny because even though we, uh, we laugh about him overacting and being like really dramatic, he's not a threatening character no like no. he doesn't seem like a threatening guy right like, he doesn't seem like i could overpower you and like i don't know kill you with my kill eyebrows. you yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. even so, though yeah. he might be able to mm-hmm. they're I, powerful dude i think fi- i i have him figured out it's dr chase that i didn't have figured out from the beginning like she she's just an odd character so she's german she's what no she's american that was born in uh, in germany yeah. in germany mm-hmm. yes She's an American. She knows a ton about history. She was really mad and pissed that he stole the Declaration of Independence. And then within like 30 minutes, she's like, cool, let's do it. And then within like another couple hours, she's making out with him. So, you know, <laughs> typical <laughs> typical movie stuff. <laughs> well, I think that for her, that the sense of adventure that she finds in history is similar to his. Right. But because of her job... She's 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 stuck in a she's a governmental historian. Yeah, she's, so she's not getting any adventure. So I think at first she's just so mad. Yeah. And then after that, it turns into like, oh, my God, this is the coolest thing that's ever going to happen like, to me. I have to do it. The most yeah. exciting thing she does for her job is to examine historical documents, which right. is which is exciting. But to examine historical documents while you're on the run from mercenaries and hanging out with a cool hot dude with big old eyebrows and and his weird friend. Big old <laughs> I need you to back up on the cool hot yeah, dude. OK, I, 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 I,
<laughs> schmoozing. <laughs> it was just a button. Champagneing. <laughs> Champagneing. So, anyways, they're stuck Sighing. with her because they had to save her from Ian because they thought that she had the real Declaration of Independence, but she really just had the fake Declaration right. of Independence. She didn't know what she had either. So no, she got dragged her. into it. Basically, and it's a cool car chase. Where yeah, I read that she did most of her own stunts in oh, that cool. scene, which is wild when you think about how she like whipped herself on the other side of that door like real hard. Yeah, <laughs> no, but I thought it was actually a pretty cool car chase. Yeah, car chase. So she's just kind of dragged into it at this point because they can't really get rid of her because she'll go tattle, but she also doesn't want to le- like have the Declaration of Independence leave her sight. Right. So they go to his father's house. Um. <laughs> just kind of as a hiding place. Gates no, they, they think that he. So oh, they has think, the letters. Yeah, they think that Benjamin Franklin <laughs> Senior. Mm-hmm. There you go. Benjamin Franklin thinks, Senior. They think that he has the do good letters. Yes. And the do good letters, I did not know anything about them. Um, apparently, the original Benjamin Franklin. Oh, am I correct in saying this? Yes. Benjamin Franklin was writing in to. A like newspaper, a, yes. and he was signing it as something do good. Silence, do good. Silence, do good. Thank An you. Obvious fake name, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> so, Silence, do gooder was writing in and was giving information um, to the newspaper, mm-hmm. and that was supposed to also have some like Masonic ties, right? And so he needed that letter to be able to decode. But how did he the know map that on the, the back. map on the back of the Declaration of Independence was just going to be number decoding. So, the, yeah, they when they steal the declaration, they think it's a map. They flip it over, rub lemon yes, all over yes. it. Yes, I, I get that. <laughs> and and then, then they know it's a number decoding. And then they see so. the, the cipher, and then they realize yes. it's a specific well, type of cipher. He asked for the do good letters before they even deciphered the map. So, how did he know that the do good letters were relevant to what was on the back of the Declaration of Independence? I don't remember. That's, That's a good stretch. question. That, that, that was there my was a reason, hole. though. I think there was a reason. I What's the dude's name again? Silence, Silence do good. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. The, the, they had another clue that ha- involved silence. It was on the original uh, Charlotte thing that they found. It said something. Um, remember when they blooded. <laughs> and decoded, when they bled oh. right? Yeah. It said so something about the real truth or in the real silence. world in silence and in silence. Yes. and silence was um, capitalized yes. as a name. Right. Gotcha. So he was saying like, "Oh, well, that has to be silence." Do good. Do good. Yeah. Okay. And that's something that actually Ian found out like on his own. Like he was writing yes. it down. He's like, "Oh, why is this capitalized?" <laughs> <laughs> and you know, and you know what Shaw said? Because <laughs> it's important. <laughs> <laughs> I know, boss, because it's important. <laughs> Hot Larry oh, Shaw. Um, so they're. <laughs> and it is very cool scene where they are putting the lemon juice on the declaration and adding the heat and finding out that it is like a map, like a decoding system. That's very, very cool. Yeah, yes. I like that. That's that's awesome. Um, what do they do after that? Um. Uh, I'm not sure, but okay. that, that's that's yeah, that's a really cool part of this movie that happens over and over again is that they find a clue and then they are able to figure it out. And it's yeah. like a really yeah. cool like toss up and payoff like immediately. And it happens like six or seven times yeah. throughout the movie. And it, and it, it feels good the entire lot, time. I Towards the end of the movie, I was like, OK, come on. Like, we don't need another Oh. Clue. That's when I was kind of it's like, okay, clue. like let's 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 get there mm. now. So that was well. The good thing was that, like you said, I mean, the unrealistic part is that normal people wouldn't have gotten them that fast. Like that would have taken years and years and years and oh, years yeah. and years. But he and she, mostly uh, Riley, I think, did it once. Mm-hmm. Was uh, were all able to figure it out within like a three minute period. Right, like yeah. they knew what to do. Um, so, so like you said, I mean, the payoff was good, and at least we got moving because the FBI was on there, I mean, even though they kind of were bumbling a little bit. Right. Like, I feel like the FBI should be a little bit a little more bit better. inept. Yeah. Or, excuse me, ept. <laughs> 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 but hey, y'all should be more ept. <laughs> but 
they they were able to stay ahead of them. So the next thing they do is they go to the original place of the silence good good letters. No good it is. And they like hire this kid. Really, they're just like paying him off in dollars. Right. They pay off this kid to go and cipher. Cipher, decipher, decipher, I suppose. Yes. Like literally decipher the, the do good letters based on page number, letter, line, those types of things. Yes. And the kid comes back and decodes saying where it'll go to the thing of pass and stow. Yes, yes, pass yeah, and go stow. to the Liberty Bell. Which refers to the Liberty Bell, yes. Pretty much get to the bell, y'all. Mm-hmm. And then they get up to the bell. Also, they well, didn't pay that kid enough, first of all. A they paying him a dollar. Excuse you. <laughs> <laughs> How many numbers were there though? They paid him I feel a like there was there was quite a few. On the back of the Declaration of Independence, it goes all the way down. That's how many Like twice though, wasn't it like on multiple were, like Was it different columns? I thought there were columns. Let's say it's at least twenty four different so ciphers. He got paid twenty four dollars? How long did it take him? That's he only came back every four letters. Here's my question. And it's a whole sense. <laughs> well, <he's laughs> your, this is your problem right now? Yes. No. Pay my that problem boy. problem is, what, Pay respo- that boy. <laughs> what responsible chaperone is going to let this kid run in and out of the dang yeah, museum Yeah, go talk supervised. to a stranger. Go talk to a stranger. Like over and over who's giving him money. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong? Yeah. How many times do you have to run in and out before someone calls this the cops? This wasn't even an issue to me. I wasn't thinking about this kid much at all. <laughs> like, Number one, He more deciphered payment. it. Cool. $10 per cipher, okay? <laughs> 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 Number <So> two. <laughs> well, next time he'll know. Yeah. Next time he's going to go out there and be like, who else is hustling? <laughs> <laughs> hey, anybody else need these numbers? I'll need do good letters. <laughs> oh Anyways. At this point, the, the movie kind of picks up. Like, mm-hmm. it tries to pick up speed. Yeah. Not that it was slow, but it picks up and you we move to the Liberty Bell, mm-hmm. which gives us a clue and then gives us a hiding place of Benjamin Franklin's glasses. Yeah, yes. and um, Riley's real, real happy that he knows something that Ben doesn't. Yes. About the right. daylight, daylight savings, savings time. time. Which mm-hmm. really... It's not 322. It's 222. It's 222. So he finds... They find... At this point, they find the glasses. The glasses. But then they all get, they get separated. separated. I like the glasses. I thought that was cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They get separated. Nick gets arrested by the FBI. And the other two, like, quote unquote, get away, but don't really get away. Right. And they get picked up by Ian's crew. Mm-hmm. So... Well, she calls Ian. <laughs> She well, she says yeah. like how do you, how do you get his number? She asks Riley to get in contact with him. Yes. Right. So at which point the FBI is trying to get their whole they're trying to get their negotiations on and Ian gets in contact with him because he's been in contact with Cutie Pants. <laughs> Cutie Pants. <laughs> What's her name? <laughs> Doctor Chase. Doctor Chase. Doctor Chase. Did she, did she have a first name? Abigail. Well, there. Why are we saying Abby? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> so we get into. We get into contact with her, and we end up, where do we end up? Is it New York? It looks like Coney Island, but I feel like I that's not I think it's correct. New York. They go to New York, yes. Well, what happens in New York? What are they, what, what clue he are we gets, on? <laughs> well, he gets, he gets, he gets, he pretty much, <sighs> he's trying to do good by the FBI because he doesn't want to be in trouble. Right. But Ian gets him out of that area so that he's no longer in FBI prote- um, protect not protection but custody mm-hmm. and makes him jump off the side of the shore right the, yes. the dock off the, the side of the dock or wherever what do you call that on. wharf the wharf the wharf yeah it's on a battleship <laughs> off the side All of the right. battleship yes thank you Luis for that that's when he uses his navy diving skills yes mm-hmm. he jumps under and then they and en- I'm not sure they said he was in the navy yeah they said he was a seal yeah Really? Literally in a mm-hmm. one sentence they, thing. They were, the no the FBI way. was raiding his apartment, which is a crazy man's apartment, a straight Navy up. Steel. <laughs> That's the worst type of like mashing up of talents you could possibly have. He's a Navy SEAL historian. A dude. master historian, a, ba- uh, a bachelor's from MIT, and then a Navy SEAL. You're right. He should if he's a Navy SEAL. He's a the Navy SEAL. He's believable. a Navy SEAL historian tech genius. He's, he's like, a mermaid. Hey, he's the like every spy you've ever heard of. is with Killmonger. <laughs> I am Killmonger. Kay. That's the only Luis one. Luis doesn't like believable. his backstory. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I get it. Okay. Well. Makes sense. He Navy SEALs off the battleship, goes underwater, and ends up somewhere. Somewhere. 
He goes. He definitely in goes the city somewhere. with Ian and the posse. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> what I remember next is that they end up at the Trinity Church. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's really what is kind of important to me. Yes. They, they end up at Trinity Church. They look at the declaration with the lenses. And the reason that it's cool is because I've actually been to the Trinity Church. Oh. Oh, fun. I have. That one's, is that one in, is that in New York or is that in? Yes. Okay. It's on the corner of Wall Street and Broadway. Ah. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Here at the wall. Yes. Here at the wall. Here. E at the wall. <laughs> so they go inside the church. They realize that it's that what they're looking for is actually under the church. So they go down into the catacombs. They break open a catacomb yep. with zero regard. It's interesting, isn't it? That yeah, I didn't these like historians that. are going around. They're looking not for historians. His- Those dudes are just like. Oh, well, yeah. They're they, they I guess treasure hunters. Yeah. They just want to treasure. But it's pretty rough. Yeah. So they, they break open this catacomb and they go inside. Yes, but also we're forgetting that Ian kidnapped Ben's dad. So he's there too because right. he's there as collateral. For collateral. Gates Sr. So they're all there. They all have to go in the God, catacomb. I know. I was like, why do they all have to go down? Like, this <laughs> is a very large amount of people. Yeah, mm-hmm. in a small space. Ugh. Not big. It was cool though. So that the that guy's caverns. grave though, he was a yeah. Freemason, yeah. right? Scary. Whatever what? his grave that was, he was a Freemason. Yes. I think. Yes. I believe so. Um Well, his name was a part of one of the lens features as well. So that's Here. how they knew to go down there. Yeah. So right. they went down and they so they go down, <laughs> they're in the catacombs now, and they find a crazy interwebbings of like... Like an underground elevator system? Yes, and they realize that there's like this big chandelier in the middle and a pit that looks like it goes to... The ground. Hell and yeah, back? I don't know. the it's, center of the earth. It's literally the <laughs> longest thing ever. <laughs> In the midst of it, they didn't want to take the elevator because they were afraid. So they start Smart. going down the stairs. The stairs, in which we lose our favorite shot. Wait, shop. there wasn't. Well, no, there wasn't a real elevator. It was just the ancient elevator, right? Yeah, it I wasn't mean, yeah. like Willy Wonka's elevator. Wonka elevator. No, what I mean is like when I'm thinking of an elevator, I'm thinking of those doors shutting in on you, and then the <laughs> weird <laughs> feeling when you go up and down. No, it is. A no, it was like a pulley, like a pulley system. system. Yeah. Mm. So we lose Shaw, and then they're like, dude, get in the elevator. This is going about to be no. rough. <laughs> he was so smart. He was so dedicated <laughs> and loyal. <laughs> the sad part, though, is that, well, not the sad part, that, that that whole scene where they have to, like, jump on to, like, jump off of the stairs, I guess. Yeah. I don't even know what to call it. They jump off the stairs. They get onto the elevator. They're moving through. The declaration's about to fall off into this me- meaningless pit. Goodness. It actually was pretty, like, <laughs> the tense. action was pretty yes, good. The action in this movie is, is, is really good. good. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I just got slapped. I was falling asleep. Yeah, that's why you got slapped. Yeah, that's why you got slapped. <laughs> Man, Ems, let's just say, is the worst person to fall asleep <laughs> around because... <laughs> She will violently wake you up. Sorry. <laughs> kind of. Anyways, well, we'll, well now up. you're stung awake, so now you can't go back to sleep. Well, I can go back to sleep. <laughs> well, get off the couch then. <laughs> no. My couch is a death trap of sleepiness. Mm. Yeah, I ain't sleeping. I ain't sleeping. Mm-hmm. Sitting on the ground, cold, hard ground. <laughs> okay, continue. <laughs> you're sitting on carpet. Um, <laughs> Shut up. Nobody need to know. So they're jumping, they're saving the declaration, it's all tense, it's scary, and then... Uh, they get down, they, they use their pulley system to get to the bottom of this structure. With mm-hmm. no shot body, so I don't know where he went. He's still, like, falling. Yeah, he, he's... <laughs> oh. It's 2019 and he's still falling. You think so? Yeah. I thought that was the ground, they went to the bottom. I don't think so. Well, shoot, I don't know where he is, man. Shaw. Shaw's my name. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> All right. So they get to the bottom and they realize that there's no treasure yet again. Mm-hmm. And Ian's pretty much like, All right, well, leaving your bodies here. Bye. See you later. And the dad feeds him some story about the next the lamp. Yeah, the next clue right. being in Boston. 
And so they're, they're like, all right, in. well, we're leaving. We're not. Oh, yeah. The, at the um, n- old. At the old, old North, North Church. Church, which we've also been to, oh, which is super cool. When we were in Boston last year, remember our first episode, yeah. everyone? Oh, yeah. Wow. When we went to Boston and we went up and we saw um, Salem mm-hmm. for the Hocus Pocus Hocus episode. Pocus, yeah. We also drove by the n- old North Church. Dude. So, anywho, feeling historical. <laughs> anywho, so he fed them some cock and bull story about that. They go off, leave them down in this pit, yep, and die. are like, you can either die down here or we'll come back and get the next clue from you. And you obviously can tell that Nick and, and Dad are just super oh, proud sure. of themselves. Like from the beginning. That they knew, they just fed him a fake clue. Mm-hmm. Apparently, there's like these <laughs> different, not like different doorways, but they're just cement. You know, it looks. I was like looking for some hieroglyphics or right, something. Yeah, like, like what, in the what is going on in here? There was the all-seeing eye, yeah. um, and then basically there was like a button on the door, and he just like pushed it and it opened. All of a sudden, there's buttons. Yeah, I guess. Okay, it's ancient buttons. Ancient buttons. Um, and then when they went to the door, it was an empty room that looked like it had kind of been trashed and dusted. You know, so like somebody had no treasure. Taken like the someone treasure. had ransacked it and taken all the treasure. So they were super sad, but the dad was pretty happy. He was like, "You proved me wrong, all mm-hmm. this stuff." But then, you know, and that kind of <laughs> this is where Andre was falling asleep, and I was like, "Yeah, you can fall asleep. They didn't get no treasure." <laughs> but I like <laughs> remembered in my mind that they found the treasure, but I think I was just like, "No, no, they're not getting no treasure." I, that's what I thought too. I did not remember what happened at the end of the movie. Right. I just remember enjoying it. So I'm thinking over here. I'm like. Well, maybe I guess they get the treasure in the second movie. And that's like, what I thought too. I was like, like oh, okay, oh, I guess maybe the I'm supposed to wait till the second movie. Gotta get but to the sequel. No, they kind of look around. I mean, they weren't looking around very closely. You know, they no, they were they were, were trying to find like a secondary way out like a way because out, yeah. Yeah. that was the one thing that Nick and Dad were sure of was that there was going to be some like back door right. to get out or in, um, because that other way is. Uh, very dangerous and intense. hard to carry out treasure from. Yeah, I don't know who's <laughs> if, if doing it's down that. There. Um, and that was kind of more of like the outsider clue, anyways. Right. Like they would have their own little way to get in there. Um, so they're looking for the way to get out. And was it who was it? Was it Abigail or was it? Ri- I think it was Riley, wasn't it? Maybe it was Riley. Uh, Give him two in one movie. Yeah, you know what, Riley, you deserve it. So he finds on the wall, which I actually thought was very cool, full circle. He finds like an indentation in the wall that looks like the Charlotte. Like, right. like I'm the think boat. I think it was Riley. I think it was Ben. Oh, okay. Well, well I'm sure. Sh- I'll still give it to Riley. Like, <laughs> poor guy doesn't get much in this Riley movie. Riley was like sitting over it there. It was or Ben, though. Okay. So he realizes it's in the the shape of the Charlotte, and he says, like, is it really that simple? Mm-hmm. Because the first glue was like the secret lies the of secret Charlotte. Charlotte. So he takes apart his pipe, puts in the boat into the crevice, and then the the pipe stem into another thing, and basically like cranks it. And uh, a whole freaking treasure room opens, man. Okay, wait. The real treasure room appears. I find I'm finding plot hole. Please, please fill this plot hole. Where? How did they get the pipe back? He got he got it from Ian. Ian pretty much he was like, okay. I will give you the Declaration of Independence, and I will give you the pipe, the pipe back if you get us to the treasure. He's so, like, I do not care. So Ian had the pipe before the boat blew up in the beginning. Yeah, yeah he, he took, took it. it with him. Okay, gotcha. That makes sense. All right. So cool. the pipe was actually. <clears throat> like super super significant. Yeah, oh yeah, it was a, it was a pivotal piece of yeah, like you could history have gone all that way, and that's why I kind of want to know like who was on that boat, because remember he says like why is the captain like guarding high, this guarding this barrel so much? Yeah, it was like who who was that pipe gonna go to? Like you know, someone like, important obviously, because yeah. that really was the, the most the important key. part of this whole yes. thing. Literally the key to the whole thing well because so and that makes you think like even though the charlotte was the name of the boat it wasn't particularly talking about like the secret lies with charlotte it was like the secret to get into the room Mm -hmm. lies with charlotte Mm -hmm. like don't get it twisted yeah just this pipe is real important on the boat if that pipe had blown up with the boat (laughs) oh my god right they would have had a 3d print (laughs) a new pipe (laughs) they would have never known yeah they would have never known Absolutely. No, they wouldn't have. They would have needed a hologram Benjamin Franklin into the whole <laughs> thing and 3D print the pipe. Hello, it's well, me. Well, and then it was Benjamin like weirding Frank- me out. Benjamin Franklin. Because once they get into the treasure room, I'm like, go back and get the pipe. You need the pipe. But I guess oh, they I just left it there. I don't know. 
Yeah. Well, it's like, you know, when people walk into houses in movies and they don't shut the door behind them. Yeah. Right. It's like, come on. The door. Let's be realistic. What's wrong with you? Yeah. But the man, the there's a lot of treasure in there. Like at first it looks like a tiny room. And then when they set the fire, I was like, oh, my God. You're like, wow. That's it's a gigantic really room extensive. that goes on forever. And I'm thinking to myself, like, something is setting spark and this all is going up in flames. Like, can you imagine, <laughs> like, all the, the paper, oh. the papyrus oh. paper? Well, yeah, because the they, they put that all on fire. <laughs> like, you know something's <laughs> catching on fire. Yeah, the scrolls oh. from the library to Alexandria. Yeah, dude. <laughs> My library. favorite part is they look over at Riley and they're like, Riley, are you okay? Are you crying? And he's like, look. Stairs. Because <laughs> all he wants uh, is he to just find a to way home. out. <laughs> Riley's like, basically, by the end of this, Riley is like, so fed up. Why did I sign up for this? Right? Why did I get my one percent with my poor, expensive car? You know, he he's funny. he got a Ferrari. Yeah. He didn't know, get an like, expensive like, car. He got a Ferrari. Sit in my one percent. One percent, dude. You want to decided to spend it on a Ferrari? Like <laughs> the funniest part about this movie is it wraps up so fast that I don't even like. It's re- that part is very unbelievable. Right? Yeah. Like. They're like, well, what do you want for it? Because the FBI comes in and he, t- Nick Cage explains like, this is what's down this is there. What all the treasure is. You know, I'm I really don't want to go to prison, so just keep me out of prison and yeah, but whatever. The only reason it works is because that FBI person was a Freemason, right? Because he was wearing a ring that had that symbol on it. Otherwise, dude was for sure freaking going to jail. Still, well, they they, you know? they put Ian in jail. Someone yeah. needed to go to prison. But yeah. I, I think if that he wasn't a Freemason <laughs> and like believed in that, then he would be in jail. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in real life, for sure. For sure. <laughs> for sure. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. One percent. <laughs> How about negative percent? You owe me money. You crazy? <laughs> You can just use up taxpayer dollars. It's good. Exactly. Um, I was honestly kind of hoping that they would have just kept the treasure down there and been like, ha we know what treasure is and not told anybody. That's probably what I would do. I'd be like, I have treasure down there. That's mm. why you are not allowed to be a treasure hunter right. because yeah. that kind of inf- wealth of information is, is for the people. Needs to be spread amongst the Smithsonian's and yeah, the Yeah, but I want to keep one piece. No. Yep. You you know I just quoted the movie right I don't really yeah, care yeah, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyways no. apparently their one percent bought them a whole mansion so I don't know well yeah and then what all of a sudden they're like in love and married yeah, and like and in just a house living together sounds good I guess I mean dude I'm assuming Louis like, why didn't we get together that fast like that's not how it went yeah. and they seem like famous historians now you know they're like going to the places giving away the history <laughs> this museum I'm <laughs> done with you <laughs> they're going, o- and they're going to the places <laughs> giving away the hey, history I'm tired okay <laughs> uh, the things and the places and, and the, the people with the s- <laughs> anyway <It's> old <laughs> I don't disagree with you that is what's happening <laughs> but the way you describe it is ridiculous <laughs> So I looked up a 2004 Ferrari. It costs about $135,000. That's 1%? I guess so. There is no way they bought that mansion for $135,000. Exactly. No, I don't think he spent all of his 1% on that car. Hmm. And there's Maybe no way that that was... Maybe he got 1%. Maybe the other two no, got he No, got, he got less than half. Remember, he got less than a percent. Right. So if 1%... It was a mansion. That mansion? Oh. 3.2 million. For real. At least. If not, because it was sprawling ground. It's grounds. a big estate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten sprawling million. ground. 10 million is 1%. So. You know, when he tells me he could have got a bigger mansion, I'm like, but why? Who wants to clean that? Not me. Well, he obviously has a maid. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, still. Well, tell us money, Andre. Oh, yeah. So speaking of uh, percentages and <laughs> stuff like that, uh, this movie had a $100 million budget Whoa. and raked in $347 million. Yeah, I remember it liking it. I think I saw it in the theater with my dad. So, yeah, it did It did fairly well, um, but it didn't bring in uh, like gangbuster numbers. Like in, in, the, in the DVD commentary... They are saying like, yeah, we're not really planning on doing a sequel at all or anything like that. But then Disney ordered one, so they got to do one more. <laughs> is she okay. in it? Is the same lady? Um, you know what? That's. A I good feel question. like they always get recasted, like the secondary person. Let me look, because I don't know. National Treasure Book of Secrets. 
starring Nicholas Cage and Just wait for it, wait for it. Yeah, wait for it. Um Riley's back. And yes, Abigail Chase is back. Diane <laughs> Kruger. She made That's it. fantastic. Oh. That's just fantastic. Oh, Helen Mirren. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's give our impressions and move along because someone's <coughs> sleeping. No, wait. I thought we have a, a um, thing. We can do that for the crack. We could do it for the crack. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, this movie on <laughs> Rotten Tomatoes received a resounding... 6.9? <laughs> no, less. Oh, dear, you want to keep guessing? Five. Five oh, percent? Oh, th- 6.9. No, oh, that's percent. Oh, 50. Percent? 50 percent? Yeah. That's very close. 45 percent on oh. the tomato meter. Yeah, I think it's better fine. than 45%. So, yeah, it, it, got, it got mixed reviews yeah. when it came out. People were like... It was fun if you could suspend it. Basically, what we said. It yeah. was fun if you can suspend your disbelief. If you can't Which suspend I can, your disbelief, it was fun. then it's just a mess. The audience know? score is seventy six. The audience score is seventy six percent. Yes, I, I think I think people like this movie. You guys voted for it, obviously. Yeah. So you know, it's not it's not like it's crazy it's bad. Fun. It's not unwatchable. I it, enjoyed it the same amount that I watched it, I think, the first time. This like, is I liked it. Nowhere near close to the worst Nicolas Cage movie that's out there. Okay? That's true. I just want y'all to know that. He should have been Benedict Cumberbatch. It Benedict been Cumberbatch wasn't even a big name in 2004. I don't care. He's probably nor on was Broadway. He, nor was he American in 2004. That's a pretty big one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fine. I mean, Hugh Jackman. He plays an American. He's also is not American. Not He's Australian. Australian. <laughs> 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 Why don't you try Jared Butler? He's <laughs> <laughs> well, Jared. And the best part, though, is, well, Hugh, Hugh Jackman plays a fine American, but... Yeah, he was a in fine Oklahoma. American, but <laughs> in Oklahoma, yeah. <laughs> uh, Wolverine's Canadian. The only Canadian. time he's ever played an American because <coughs> Wolverine's Canadian. Canadian. Yeah, mm-hmm. Wolverine's Canadian. Yes, he is. Bub, sadly, Bub. strong Canadians. The only they're Cana- not American. <laughs> the only Canadian that was. <laughs> There's nothing probably, wrong with that. I'm just saying. <laughs> he's probably the only Canadian that is not very friendly. Oh yeah, he's he's the rudest Canadian. Chris Evans <laughs> on earth. An American. <laughs> there you go. An you American. Did it. You ever see that? A very small of, American. Yeah, you ever see that episode it. of X Men where like Wolverine is getting, trying to get bamboozled by Cyclops to go save somebody, and he's like, but "Wolverine, he's almost, he's about, he's uh, he's near death," and he's like, "Not near enough." <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my goodness! All right, let's rate this puppy. Um, <laughs> who wants to give their rating first? Luis does. We were expecting um, much more commentary from you, too. FYI. Yeah, mister, you He's guys got to wait for me to, to do this movie. I got to talk about National Treasure. Hey, Michelle fell asleep, okay? For like two seconds. Yeah, she only got like one snore before smacked. I slapped her. <laughs> I got oh, that was slapped. Terrible. I'll give it an eight. Eight. I liked it a lot. Nicolas Cage is just a downfall. <laughs> <laughs> um... And the uh, <laughs> award for best actor does not go to Nicolas Cage. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, Boom. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Hey. All right. I don't know if y'all watched the Oscars, but Nicolas we were just Cage told. wasn't there. It I was, was about nothing. to say it goes to Jim Bean. <laughs> His name is Sean, Sean Bean. <laughs> Seen Bean. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Bean. <laughs> the award goes to Whiskey. Is that Whiskey? I think so. Bourbon. Oh. Bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really close. Michelle. Probably wish, I don't know. <laughs> Aren't they the same thing? Whatever. Aren't uh, they uh, the same <laughs> thing? <laughs> I love it. We're done. Michelle, your rating? Eight. Eight point oh. It's fun. It's good. It should have been a Benedict Cumberbatch <laughs> movie. <laughs> I really don't uh, think. <laughs> National <laughs> Treasure 3 starring Benedict Cumberbatch. I'm going <laughs> to stick to my guns, okay? Uh, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to direct this movie, Michelle. I think you should be like oh, the historical director on this I next just film. Mess up all <laughs> history. People are like, "What's going on?" That that's apparently what the problem is with getting a National Treasure three out is that the script just apparently like isn't strong enough, and Disney keeps like denying it. Like everybody else on board, the producers, the writers, all the actors are all in to do a third one, but Disney's like, "Nah, the script isn't tight enough." Nah, the script isn't tight enough. <laughs> well, that was one of the fun mm-hmm. facts I read about the original was that like it took like the movie was ready in 2000 and like it took them until like 2004 to like 
literally like make the script usable. Right. Like there was like nine different writers that were like, screw this. Yeah. I'm done. Well, I have hard. Because you have to make stuff up. You have to make up history, which is very easily deniable. You know? Oh, yeah. to make up history? That's mm. hard. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, to make it seem plausible, <laughs> I guess. And to do it a third time? Mm-mm. Ain't doing it. Ain't happening. Mm. Mine, um, I would say I'm going to give it an eight, too, because I would watch it again. It was really fun. Um, I really enjoyed it. If not, like, just to make fun of Nicolas Cage. Right. Like, it would be, it's fun to make fun of him. It's so fun. Um, oh, man. Some people, like, when, when you dislike them a lot, you, like, are disgusted. But, like, I'm not disgusted. I, he's, it's funny. He's fascinating to watch. And that's, that's why he keeps getting roles. He has 98 credits on his IMDb. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. And I want to say at least, like, 60% of those movies are straight trash. But he's yeah. in them, and he's being Nick Cage in all of them. And it's, mm. it's interesting, if not... Well, Fun. Oh, I, yeah. I didn't like Sean Beam's hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, think about <laughs> other actors, though, that are really, like, popular. Like, okay, don't kill me, but, like, Samuel L. Jackson is a oh, perfect yeah. example. He's the same guy. He in is Samuel movie. L. Jackson Absolutely. in every movie. And That's he's he cast plays. because of he's interesting to watch. He's he's funny in his dryness. and But you can't expect him to play something else. Like, right. you know what you're getting. Robert De Niro, um, Donald Denzel, mm -hmm. like yeah. you're, you're getting who you're guys, getting. Exactly. Um, and you hire them because they're them, not because you want them to play this very specific <laughs> character. You, or you better hope you're not. <laughs> right. Because yeah. you are not getting that very specific character. Exactly. Unless you wrote it for him. Yes. Um, so anywho, I think I think I still would have liked it better if it was someone else. But it it's <laughs> still funny to make fun of him. Yeah. It, I enjoy making fun of him. Mm, I, yeah, I think I'm gonna give this movie an eight too. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I, one, it's it's good. I've watched ultra, it before. Ultra. I will watch it again. I, I'm I'm sure at some point. It's it's fun to watch. And yeah, Nicolas Cage is 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 something to behold for for sure. Um, just because everything that's been said ab about the movie has already been said, I'm just gonna recommend you guys some other Nicolas Cage movies. If if you found him interesting, recommend. I'm gonna recommend some some weird ones. Like what? Face Off. Do you know what Face Off is? Nope. Face Off is a movie where Nicolas Cage and John Travolta switch faces. What? <laughs> they're they're like one of them's like like a like a like a criminal, and the other one's like an FBI agent. And then they like bring Nicolas Cage in. And then they decide to swap faces with him so that they can infiltrate his gang organization or whatever. It's wild. Um, I'd also recommend The Wicker Man. The Wicker Man is a story where Nicolas Cage like goes to like this weird culty island, and then they just mess with his head the entire time. And he none of these sound he good. He freaks out real hard. No, no, these are the bad movies. That's what I'm telling you. No. But Nick Cage is so crazy in them that it, they are fun to watch. I watched The Wicker Man like four or five times. It's fantastic. Hmm. No, not the bees. Anything but the bees. It's great. Watch it. Um, I think that's it for this episode. Of oh, yes. And next week. Yes. Next week. Uh, join us in watching the classic animated film. Yeah, Emily Conn already gave it away. Yeah. 1941's Dumbo. Dumbo. Because Dumbo should be coming the out. Flying Elephant. In uh, just a little bit after the Dumbo episode, yeah, drops. the the live action Dumbo. So you know, let's hang out with us. Let us talk about the old Dumbo before you go see new Dumbo. Check it out there. Um, if you want to hang out with us in the meantime, you can go to our social media profiles. We are at the Walt Fault Pod on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, send us a message there. Uh, leave a comment on what you thought of the movie. If you like Nicolas Cage if you uh, could steal the Declaration of Independence yourself. Uh, you can also send an email to contact at thewaltvaultpod.com. I'll read those messages on the show. Uh, or you can send a voice message to contact at thewaltvaultpod.com, and I'll play the message on the show. Wouldn't that be fun? Check that out. Um, if you want to help support us, you can do so in a couple of ways. You can subscribe to the show on whatever podcast platform you're listening to. We're on Google Play and YouTube and iTunes. Go to all those places. You can leave a review or a rating. Uh, five stars is my favorite amount of stars, just so you know. Uh, and you can go to patreon.com slash the Walt Vault and sign up for as little as a dollar uh, and get access to a bunch of stuff. I've been playing Kingdom Hearts 3 and posting videos. Those are going up every week. Uh, I post my notes for all the movies that we watch. And we do an after show called A Crack in the Vault where we discuss a little bit more about the movie. Go there, sign up, be our best friends, 
<coughs> do all the stuff. Uh, that's been it for the Walt Vault this week. You guys will see you next time. The Vault is now closed. Bye.